Hey everyone, so I got my FX3 in top handle back from Sony Pro Support, and while the repackaging was great, there wasn't actually a solution. Well, sort of. And before we get into it, I just want to say how much I missed the FX3. While this was shipped out, I was using my Black Magic, and I gotta say, it is so hard to go back to manual focus after using the amazing autofocus that comes in this camera, so I miss you so much. I missed you, little guy. So last month I made a video talking about how much I love this camera and just how versatile it is. But that one major issue I had is that whenever I use the Rode Wireless Go 2, I get this weird buzzing noise. And after watching Chris Brockhurst's video, he talks about having the same issue. But the weird thing is that he had the issue on one of his FX3s, but not the other. So I figured it was just an issue that I could get fixed by sending it into Sony Pro Support. And the customer support person that helped was really nice, but the actual Sony technicians are saying that it's just a compatibility issue. And they also mentioned that they are aware of the issue and they're having it with specifically the FX3 and the A7S3 models. But the thing that makes it more complicated is that I've seen YouTubers like Potato Jet, he uses the the A7S3 and the Rode Wireless Go 2, and he doesn't seem to have any issues with it. You tell them, you tell them why they didn't fix your camera. Yeah. So yeah, that's the overall problem. And after watching a bunch of different YouTube videos on solutions, let's try to find a few of them so you can use your FX3 or your A7S3 with your Rode Wireless Go 2. So let's get into it. Okay, so solution number one, I'm gonna try the audio settings that Sony recommended. Setting my volume level to six in the FX3, and audio level to zero decibels in the Rode Wireless Go 2. Solution number one. Okay, so that actually sounds pretty good, but I can still hear it just a little bit, so let's try a couple other solutions. So another solution I found on YouTube, which I will link the original video as well as the product, which is this, it's called the clip on noise filter. And apparently once you clip it on, it'll cut the interference noise, but I actually haven't seen any tests done. And I also bought this cable on Amazon because it is a round cable while the road is more of like a flat cable. It just fits better onto the round cable. And this is actually my first time trying it. So we're gonna see in real time if this actually works. I think it went away, but I feel like I can still hear it. So the guy in the YouTube video said to put two on, which I'll try putting two on, I guess. Let's just boost the audio and post and see how it sounds. All right, so that was the other solution. And now we are recording straight to the receiver, so you shouldn't hear any buzzing noise. We're just gonna do that for now because the last solution is using the top handle. So I've seen a lot of people that say once you actually plug the receiver into the top handle, you hear no noise, which I just didn't want to use the top handle because I just felt like it was kind of too short to use to have a monitor on, and I just didn't really like the how clunky it was. And also I was hearing that if you use a shotgun mic, you will get a bunch of handling noise from just like moving your hand around. So I didn't want to use it, but um, this is the last resort. To actually offset my problems with it, I actually went ahead and bought the small rig top handle extension for it. So I'm hoping that this will actually give me a better solution. So let's try that. Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal? Um, after all that crazy sounding noise, I just turned the input to manual and I shifted it to one decibel. Testing, testing. Okay, so with it plugged into the external mic, I'm hearing no noise and the road is set to zero decibels and this is set to one decibel. So I'm hearing no noise, so that's a good thing. So yeah. 
Hey everyone, Editor Victor here. So I didn't record a conclusion yet because I wanted to play back the audio and make sure that these solutions actually worked, but here is my conclusion. So solution number one, which is using Sony's recommended settings, it does offset that buzzing noise. So you can't really hear it unless you boost up the audio, but it doesn't completely eliminate it. So I probably won't just do that. Solution number two, which is attaching those interference clamps onto the cable, it actually does work. I didn't think it was working when I was actually trying it, but playing back the footage, it eliminates that buzzing noise completely but it's important to note that I was using Sony's recommended settings and that so if you do switch the settings at all you might get that buzzing noise again but when combining the two it actually works so that's probably the solution I'm gonna go with and solution number three which is using the top handle the top handle completely eliminates that buzzing noise which is great but personally I don't like using the top handle I was messing with it for like 45 minutes and I still just did not really like it and I also learned from an FX3 review that moment recently released that when you use the top handle and you're using an XLR cable which is phantom power it actually kills the battery a lot faster which is another reason why I wouldn't want to use it but if you do use the top handle already that's a great solution for you so yeah I hope this video helped out any FX3 or A7S3 or A7 IV users um, feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one